And you're like, why am I still thinking about that person? Or even a year. And there still feels like there's a connection right there. And what happens when you glue two pieces of paper together and try and pull them apart? I mean, it's, not, it's never a clean break. And that's what happens when two become one. And because sexual sins bring connection that is unavoidable. Truth about sexual sin, the pain is inevitable, the jealousy is inevitable, and the connection is inevitable. This is huge, we gotta listen to this. First Corinthians six, this is, this is a scripture that we've heard probably many times if you've been in church for a while, and so we just kinda breeze past it and we don't catch the depth here. It says this, do you not know that he who unites himself with a prostitute, anybody outside of marriage, do you not know that he who unites himself with a prostitute is one with her in body? Did you hear that? is one with her and body. For it is said, the two will become one flesh. Where does that come from? The two will become one flesh. Where does that come from? Genesis, right? The very beginning. God says a, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife and the two will become one flesh. There, there's a promise. Jesus affirms that in the New Testament. He says, he affirms that scripture. He says a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife and the two will become one flesh. Old Testament, New Testament, confirm and affirm what marriage is between husband and wife. And whenever you take it outside of that, you get some of the same, uh, what's meant to be a benefit inside marriage is a curse outside of marriage. You, because some of you, you hear, um, for it is said the two will become one flesh. If you join yourself with a prostitute, the two will become one flesh. No, 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 Jesus, it doesn't work like that. That only happens in marriage. Two only become one flesh in marriage. No, 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 you don't get to pick the rules. You don't get to pick how this thing works. God created sex to join two people together, not just physically and emotionally, spiritually. There's a joining, there's a two becoming one here. Listen to this. Uh, flee from sexual immorality. All other sins a person commits are outside the body. Are you listening? All other sins a person commits are outside the body, but whoever sins sexually sins against their own body. Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit? In other words, God's not like way out there. God's right here, very present. He's in you. You've received uh, from God. You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. See, a common saying of today is that all sins are the same. You heard that, right? Um, just because people say it doesn't mean it's true. You understand that, right? You ever seen the, the quote on Facebook where Abraham Lincoln says like, hey, don't trust all the quotes you hear on Facebook? So get that on the right home. Um, just because people say it doesn't mean that it's true. That's not in the Bible. Uh, all sins are not the same. Let me wake you up to that today. All sins are not the same. A lot of people hide in sexual sins. They say, oh, it's all the same. No, it's not. It's not because all other sins that a person commits are outside of their body. This one you sin against your body. This one you sin against the temple of the Holy Spirit. This one, this, this is not about drugs. This is not the same thing uh, as anger. This is not the same thing uh, as, as theft. Uh, it's not even the same thing as murder. I mean, it's, they, they, these, are, these are different. They're, they're, they're different because when you sin against your own body, what you're doing here is you're joining your body to somebody else. That doesn't happen when you steal something. That doesn't happen when, when you say false things. Those are sins, absolutely, but not all sins are the same. And, and one of the biggest lies that we bought into is believing that sex is just a physical thing. It is not just a physical thing. This is a, a whole you thing. And when you, when you have sex outside of covenant, there's a joining there that happens, which is intended to be a blessing inside of marriage, but it's a curse outside of marriage. Because you know what happens is when you break up, you think, oh, I'll just go my own way. And you're like, why am I still thinking about that person? Why is, why is there still feels like, it could be a day, a week, a month, or even a year, and there still feels like there's a connection right there because it's something called a soul tie because two became one. And what happens when you glue two pieces of paper together and try and pull them apart? There's, there's, there's fragments, there's, there, it feels like a, a grenade has gone off, there's shrapnel, right? I mean, it's, not, it's never a clean break. And that's what happens when two become one. And that's why sexual sins are different than every other sin because sexual sins bring connection. There's a connection that happens that is unavoidable. There is no such thing as casual sex that does not exist. That, that, is, that is laughable in the kingdom of God to think there's such a thing as casual sex. It does not exist because two become one. And what happens is 
when you, when you uh, 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 break that, that one, that two become one, you lose a piece of identity, right? You, you lose a piece of purpose. You lose a, a sense of self, of, of who you are, because now it's been given to that person, and now that person's no longer there. And if you do that enough times, over and over and over again, that's what happens when you see the world around us, people who have no identity, people who have no purpose, people who have no sense of self because they've given it to everybody else and they don't even know who they are anymore. And so they decide I'm only good for sex because that's the only time I feel a connection. You're listening? The connection is inevitable. What's, what's a curse outside of marriage is a blessing inside of marriage. Because when you find that person and you can share your hopes and you can share your dreams and you can share that inside a covenant till death do his part, that is a blessing. That is good. That's, that's something to be sought after. But whenever you take it outside a covenant, connection is inevitable. Don't, don't believe the lie that says I can do whatever I want to and there, there, are no, there are no consequences for this. That's why sexual sin is different. It brings connection.